What's going on? It's Anton from AntonDaniels.com. I appreciate you guys for continuing to rock with me. I'm going to close the sunroof in a minute, but it's just some really, really good weather today, and I wanted to have the sunroof down a little bit, so it's going to be a little bit windy, but bear with me. Hear the message, and the message that I have for you today is the recession is already here. The recession is has been here it is going to be an awesome opportunity because more millionaires are made during the recession than any other time let me say that again millionaires are made during the time that everybody else starts to panic it's an opportunity for you to run up the bag to run up the check to get to the money to continue to leverage everybody else's fear against them now, I know that that sounds bad, but let me just tell you something. I am a capitalist. I'm not here for your feelings. I'm not here to make you feel good. I'm here to run up a check. And the check says, hey, Anton, it's an opportunity because everybody else is panicking, but it's time for you to be able to take advantage of what's happening and what's going on in the market and the economy. So let me break this down for you really quickly. But before I do so, I need you to hit a like for the YouTube algorithm. Okay, I need you to also subscribe to the channel and make sure you got your bell and your notifications turned on. And then last but not least, Fight Club, ladies and gentlemen, Fight Club that I have going on on the other Anton Daniels channel. I know that's where y'all used to getting it. Fight Club is popping. I got a brand new channel just for it specifically, and it is awesome. So that link is in the description. We do the late night live streams. We got a lot planned for it, and it's going to be awesome. So, so make sure you subscribe to the other channel so we can get that up in the YouTube algorithm and we can get it popping, all right? But um, aside from all of that, let's talk about uh, this impending recession that everybody keeps talking about, right? Now, officially, technically, we're not in a recession because according to the banks, Wells Fargo and JP Morgan and every other bank that you can think of, right? They're all saying, yo, Anton, there's a recession or a percentage of a recession coming. But I'm telling you that the price of goods and services is out of control as a result of inflation. Your money does not stretch as far. You can't get the jobs that you want. Let me go outside. It's too nice outside for me to just be sitting in the car. I know the red interior is absolutely gorgeous and dope, but I want to go outside because I want to be able to kick it with y'all out here in these streets. They telling y'all that life is going to be very, very difficult based off of what it is that we see happening in the economy today. Now, in addition to that, in addition to that, right, you also have a lot of politicians that are promising you things and they always are going to promise you things. You got midterm elections coming up and then in 2024, you know, you're going to have probably some new case that they want to champion and trump up in order to try to instill fear in you so that you can vote according to whatever your interests are not but i'm telling you that you guys need to be a little bit more intentional and paying attention to what the opportunities are in front of you instead of operating in duress right the reason that they do this is because it's easy to control how you spend it's easy to control how you feel it's easy to make you move or, or manipulate you into doing a certain thing but i'm telling you that that's the opportunity for them to get rich. That's the opportunity for them to start moving a little bit more strategically because then everything becomes a discount, right? When you see what's happening with the stock market, if you continue to beat people across the head long enough, they'll start to panic, right? Because then they're gonna be looking at their bank account, they're gonna, they're gonna look at their portfolio, they're gonna look at their 401ks, they're gonna look at their retirement, they're gonna say, oh man, things are going bad. But when has the market not recovered? You're going to have people that panic, and they're gonna spaz out, and they're gonna sell, and then the things are gonna dip significantly when you look at all of these fundamentally great companies. You look at Apple, Microsoft, PayPal, uh, all of these different companies, right? What's happening is that it's an opportunity to, for you to buy. You know when everybody was saying, yo, I'ma buy the dip, I'ma buy the dip. This is the dip. This is technically the dip. Now, why do I say the recession is already here? I'ma come back to that. Why do I say the recession is already here? Because Contrary to popular belief, <laughs> foreclosures are up. It's continuing to spike. And the Fed is raising rates in order to try to fight inflation, which means that the value of the dollar is down. Your money goes 
shorter it's not going as far as it used to right when you get a job your money is actually less because when you start to get these merit raises and increases it's not even beating the rate of inflation and so the opportunities that come along with it for people that have resources or have been down for an extended period of time it's a buying opportunity and so they're going to capitalize off of it so all of these stocks right because you only lose when you sell all of these stocks and and all of the money that you're generating we're looking to purchase and buy more assets right they're they're trying to taper off demand for housing so that they can start incre increasing more supply so demand is not as, as crazy they're they're trying to prepare and, and put themselves in a position to be able to get elected these government officials because they can't control housing and so for a lot of people as far as their lifestyle because they've increased their lifestyle to more more or less reflect how much income that they've been making because they haven't been looking at the millionaire morning show and so for them when you start to crunch all of this stuff together and it starts to impact them inflation is real i don't know how many people that i've talked to when they say anton i make a ton of money but i'm in a financial pickle i haven't been able to get out of things well that's because you haven't been paying attention to the millionaire morning show so a recession for me is an opportunity to continue to capitalize and eventually go and buy the pistons but a recession for everybody else is a time for them to buckle down and then move out of fear when are y'all gonna stop acting like when are you gonna stop acting like you under duress because you're not when are you gonna start making more informed decisions so that you can actually capitalize off of what's going on in the economy when you get rid of the fear when you get rid of the emotion you are going to absolutely 100 percent kill everything same thing that happened in the pandemic in 2020 same thing that happened with the housing market crash and a recession in 2008 which i wasn't prepared for and i was in a lot of other people's uh position but when the market moves this way let me say this you will not die if you can hold on long enough and you can stay down long enough to actually get to this space you are going to absolutely positively destroy everything and that's a good thing destroying things is a good thing so yep i'm continuing to buy land i'm continuing to buy assets i'm continuing to look for the opportunities i'm continuing to stay down and as weird as it may sound even though i got the benzes and the porsches and the rolexes and all of that other type of stuff right i'm not even remotely close to spending the amount of income that i generate on a regular basis over 90 percent of everything that i make goes into buying more assets and resources so all i'm telling you guys is to change your mindset to move out of the rest into abundance because that's when the opportunities start to present themselves because everybody else is going to start panicking and when you see everybody running one way you go the opposite when you say everybody is in an echo chamber you start to get uncomfortable and you start to have conversations with people that may think differently from you opportunities are always going to exist for people that understand how money works and understand the nature of people because I know that people panic and people are silly and people don't even understand what a, what a recession really is they don't understand all of the factors that go into the economy retracting and um, manufacturing is starting to move back to America which means that there's always going to be opportunities but as far as what it is that you're getting paid versus what I get paid and what I generate it don't have nothing to do with how hard you work it's gonna have everything to do with whether or not you understand how money works so again make sure y'all join the patreon link is in the description if you need personal coaching make sure you tap into your boy and i'm gonna kick it with you we all gonna just give you the surface level because i can't give you everything in an eight nine minute video video i gotta give you the thing that's gonna actually motivate you to do the thing that's gonna be best for you all right so fight club make sure y'all subscribe to that that link is in the description patreon in the description we got a patreon meetup next weekend less than six days away we're gonna be in vegas it's gonna be dope and we build in the business. Business incubator in the Patreon is dope. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Make sure I enjoy this Mother's Day. Peace.